How does a comfort food restaurant known for its rocking chairs and peg games have such staying power in today's cutthroat food industry? Cracker Barrel has managed to do it, one hash brown casserole at a time. But it's not just the food that keeps customers coming back. Every Cracker Barrel restaurant has an old country store attached to it, where you can buy everything from cast iron cookware to apparel. One of the store's top sellers, predictably, is their rocking chairs, which are made by the family-run five-generation Hinkle Chair Company, who cranks out 83,000 of the chairs every year for the chain. Quilts and bedspreads, snack food items, replica electronics, including old-time jukeboxes, and items from the military are also on offer. Here's where Cracker Barrel was smart. To pay your check, you have to walk to the register located in the store, which means plenty of opportunities to buy those candles and country music CDs on your way to the parking lot. In 2014, their retail stores accounted for a fifth of the chain's total revenue, and that's about $2.7 billion in annual revenue. It definitely helps with Cracker Barrel's bottom line, and just imagine how many cowboy hats, hummingbird nightlights, and metal watering can salt and pepper shakers that translates to. Chances are you've driven by a Cracker Barrel restaurant while on a road trip. With their 660 restaurants in 45 states, it seems like you see their front porches and rocking chairs everywhere, and those road trippers are part of their success. In fact, the company says that travelers make up 40% of their business, and Cracker Barrel is such a popular destination, they even have a page on their website dedicated to welcoming tour groups and explaining how tourists can make the most of their stay. The restaurant doesn't just attract tour groups and people looking for biscuits and gravy, though. Lovebirds have also been known to flock to the Cracker Barrel, including an adorable couple in their 80s who made it their mission to visit every Cracker Barrel in the United States. And while that's some serious dedication, you probably know someone who does something similar and just has to stop at a Cracker Barrel when they're on the road, whether it's for a vacation or work. The proof is in the numbers. With 217 million guests served each year all across the country, Cracker Barrel is a very popular destination for all kinds of people. This is a dream come true. It's a cross-country road trip. My dad and I took one every summer. You blast the Annie soundtrack and you eat junk food. What Cracker Barrel is selling and what millions of Americans are consuming is an idealized version of what many people are nostalgic for and what many people wish they had access to well into adulthood. A visit to Grandma's house. Everyone loves a warm, welcoming place filled with antiques with delicious smells wafting from the kitchen, right? It takes a lot of time and effort to perfect this grandma aesthetic. And Cracker Barrel works hard to make the experience as authentic as possible. Cracker Barrel has huge warehouses just dedicated to their decorations, and yes, they're all completely 100% authentic. That tin sign on the wall might be the exact same one your grandparents had in their kitchen. And that kind of nostalgia is a powerful thing. There is something comforting about visiting a romanticized version of your grandma's house, and Cracker Barrel seems to know that. Another big reason Cracker Barrel is so popular is that it's a reasonably priced dining experience for customers. The most expensive item on the Cracker Barrel menu is the ribeye steak. And even that comes in just above $15 with three sides included. Most of the items on the menu cost less than $10, and each weekday, they have a different $5.99 lunch special. Many of their platter meals are served with two or three sides, and the basket of free biscuits or corn muffins, so there's a pretty good chance you could leave with lunch leftovers for the next day as well. Couple all this with the fact that Cracker Barrel is more of a dining experience than your local fast food joint, and it ends up being a pretty good value for your dining out dollar. Cracker Barrel gets most of the ingredients used in their kitchens from the United States. According to the Cracker Barrel website, homegrown food, quite simply, tastes better. With our Tennessee roots and 660 stores in 45 states, sourcing fresh ingredients domestically is core to our beliefs. By far and away, the vast majority of our ingredients come from right here in America. Our green beans, potatoes, farm-raised catfish, sweet potatoes, turnip greens, and all of our beef, pork, and poultry are domestically grown or raised. Not only that, but Cracker Barrel has a policy of working with suppliers who have made a commitment to responsibly raise meat. There are the occasional imports, though. Ingredients like shrimp aren't sourced from the U.S. because it's not produced in large enough quantities for the restaurant's needs. So while it's not 100% locally sourced, it's still refreshing to know that the majority of ingredients aren't coming from a faraway country. And customers appreciate that kind of commitment from a restaurant. Cracker Barrel really does have something for everyone, and for a family trying to please a whole lot of different people, that's brilliant. Board games for the board, antiques for the history buff, candy and retro toys for the kids, a generous bread basket for everyone who has excellent taste. And the company is now targeting another important audience, millennials, with a cool new fast casual concept called Holler & Dash, which is a stripped-down hipster restaurant with farmhouse pendant lighting and exposed brick. The menu items include things like fried chicken biscuits with goat cheese and tater tot bowls with bacon, cheddar cheese, and sauce. Sadly, there are only a handful of Holler & Dash locations, but here's hoping they become as popular as Cracker Barrel's traditional restaurants. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite restaurants are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.